hello everyone and welcome back welcome back what am i welcoming you back to <laughs> welcome to hibernation um this is the next three scary games i'm not prepared for this at all i have three games i'm sure some of them are scary we'll see i don't know i went into itch.io and i ruined i found a whole bunch of games threw them all into a hat and was like this is the these this is the round roundup for the day. Yeah, with that being said, we're good. <laughs> we're just gonna hop right into this. This one's called Hibernation. And I will be linking all these games in the description down below if you guys want to try and play them for yourself. Sounds like the adults from Ina? Did I break it already? I always hate coming back to this town. But I want that money. It's quite cold. <laughs> Guess I need to find some evidence about her case if I want them to cough up that cash. Oh. 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 Nice, look at the void. All about the void. E to interact. Oh my god, hello. Okay. Well, nothing's happening there, obviously. What about this one? I'm just going to continue to face through this, alright? Hello? I have some questions for you. Alright. Uh, I can't... I, I can't go anywhere. Oh, alright. Cool. This is fine. Is nobody home in this godforsaken town? Now we run into the woods. It's gonna stop. Nope, it's gonna stop me. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's the gate? Looks like it's changed shut. If I want, if I wanted to investigate, I'll need some bolt cutters. Well, new task. We're finding bolt cutters. Ever a good sign when the church bell starts to ring? Locked, but I could find the key in, in the prices. Wait, <laughs> why? I can't even go off the road. Okay, can I come? Pick the bolt cutters. Pick up the bolt cutters. So just for context, I know nothing about any of these games I'll be playing today. Some of them just looked super interesting. Some of them had some, had a really nice little blurb. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Oh uh, yeah, no, some of them just had like a real, had a really nice little blurb about the game. And yeah, so I know nothing about today's, about any of the games we're playing today. Also, I also just picked some of them because they had some cool art styles. This seems like breaking and entering. Also, why is everything so fucking dark? Yes, he. Anything. What is. I don't want to look behind me. Hi. Nice to meet you. You. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is nice. Lovely home you have here. This is gonna happen every single time I go to find something. I can't read any of that. 
Evidence 2. The Bible. There are multiple religious books around the house. I can use this to say religion was a factor as the Price family frequented the nearby church. How do you know that? Perhaps religion influenced the Price family to murder their daughter. <laughs> okay. We seem to be jumping to a lot of conclusions. I don't know who we're playing, but that's a lot of conclusions for us to be jumping to. Well, I'm going to finish exploring inside first. I still can't see anything. It's way too dark. Lucy has been spouting nonsense again. Something about wanting to leave town for good. How dare she? We've been here our whole lives, and she's just going to throw her history and our church away. Maybe sending her there more often will help. There must be a way to convince her to stay. That doesn't count as evidence. The the daughter wanting to jump down from ship, abandon the family as they so called it. The alcohol. I seem to be in the way again. Hold on. We're just gonna go like Empty beer bottles. There are multiple beer bottles scattered around the house. I can use this to say the Price family were heavy drinkers. Perhaps this influenced the tension between the Price parents and their daughter. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Look at the kitty. Can't read the clock. Everything's too dark. Can't open any drawers. Eat interact is not doing anything. Seriously, did we just break into somebody's home to come look at their shit? Loose. Is this <laughs> is this a grave marker? Grave. Okay. There is a lone grave sitting in the backyard. That's it. I can use this to say they bury their daughter out of guilt for what they've done. No, there's no body here, but nobody else needs to know that. <laughs> okay, how do we know there's no body here? How do we know that? Lucy is gone. Our daughter is gone. The police say she is missing, but we both know she isn't coming home. She's gone. Our church said they could convince her, and now look what fucking happened. I threw the key to the place into the neighbor's trash out of anger. I don't think God can help us anymore. We failed. What did your church do to your daughter? Uh, excuse me? Did I shrink? I shrunk. Hello. I shrunk. <laughs> I shrunk. I'm short. Okay, um. I don't know what the third piece of evidence would be. Or the fourth piece of evidence. Is the key? What would the force be? The fourth piece of evidence. So uh, what would it be? Because we got the alcohol. Can't open that. I also can't see anything. This game is really dark. And I've got lights shining to my face, so it's like I, it's not like I can see any better. Like if I turn this off, this one off. What does that one do? Doesn't help me much. Can't. Wait there, can't open any of these. Press the E to interact. There. Can't do anything with this. Bible on the floor. Uh gonna press E on everything. E I'm stuck. E. We already read that. I didn't even see what that was. Is that a body? <gasps> Corpse. <laughs> it's a whole ass dead body back here. The body of Mr. Price is in the backyard. It looks like he overdosed on pills. You can use this to say that he couldn't handle the guilt from murdering his daughter and took his own life. We just gonna frame the man. Shameful. We're just gonna frame the man. Okay, why are we doing this? <laughs> oh, why did I not notice you just sitting back here in the bushes? 
Why am I short? I want to. I'd like to exit, please. Thank you. Okay, we threw what in the neighbor's trash? Where is the neighbor's trash? The key must be in the, tra the trash still. If you say so. This neighbor's trash? Oh my god. Alright, this is great. Yes, mother? What did you need? My mother's texting. Get my packages for me. Heck yeah! Okay. Can I...? There's no running in this game, is there? Okay. But, I mean, can we... Can we explore a little bit more? Is there anywhere else to explore before we go... Go into the... Nope. Okay. Into the church we go. I hmm, this is very children of the corn. This is very children of the corn. I believe I'm gonna be murdered here. Oh, uh, we picked up a key, a key to wear. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Our Lord will be re our Lord will return. In doing so, he needs a vessel. The local maiden will be appointed for hibernation, awaiting his return in the bowels of our church. Um why how do I get to said bowels of the church? Hi, uh, it's raining blood. Where the hell did I go? You gonna take me out back to shoot me? Oh my god! Why is the game throwing me? Can I... Nothing? I can't do anything with this. Okay. I still can't run. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Just dying a little bit. Bowels of our church. Neither of that looks like where I'm going. So I don't really know what I'm looking for or what's happening. I'm just- my character- I'm in the trees! Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm getting caught on everything. Just trying to walk around and explore and all I'm doing is flying. The bowels of the church is a little storm cellar way in the back of the fucking courtyard. All right. My microphone is too loud. I'm sorry I'm yelling. We're just gonna... We're gonna turn that down. So that way I'm not fucking yelling at y'all anymore. Okay. <laughs> hmm. You know, I've decided I don't I don't really want to go down here. Oh, I really don't want to come down here. Where am I? It's dark. And evidence collected by the four. <clears throat> Oh my god, I don't want to be down here. Oh, I really don't. I don't want to. Getting the goosebumps. The goose. The goosebumps. <clears throat> so, uh, this is straight terror. <clears throat> Great terror on my face. I don't I don't appreciate any of this. I really don't appreciate Don't don't appreciate that. Oh I don't appreciate I 
don't want to. There's a body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we found her. What's the price? She's dead. I did the deed myself. I killed her? As a me? I did the right thing. The day of rapture will follow soon. someone behind us. Only through her hibernation will our Lord return to us. There's someone behind us. He will stand above this town as the trumpets screech their song. I did the right thing. He is king. Evidence collected! Yay! We did it! Oh, great job! Terrible. Case conclusion. After a local detective investigated the Price family home, they discovered that after growing tensions arose in the family, Lucy Price was murdered by her parents. This detective has been paid a $20,000 reward by Lucy's relatives for this unfortunate, 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 unfortunate discovery. More on the story. That's sick. I'm still in the fucking way. The fucking... You know, it was a very short game. It was great. I liked it. There weren't a lot of scares, it was just very unsettling. Very unsettling. To a, to a very uncomfortable degree. Alright. Um, yeah, so that was Hibernation. We are going to hop into the next one, which is... I lost my mouse! <laughs> Hold on, I lost my... I'm, I'll be back with you guys as soon as I get the next one pulled up. Oh, we're, we're back. We're back. The game is the, it's loud. This one is called The Lights Went Out. Um, I don't know where the lights went out at, but we'll see. Oh, setting. I didn't like that noise. I, I don't think I like that noise. We're actually going to turn the, I don't like a 0.75. Great, hold on. I couldn't get the game to show up on the display I wanted it to be on. So I like disconnected one of my monitors. But but apparently I can I can problem has been solved. This is great. Ten out of ten. Nothing's even happened yet, but ten out of ten. Alright, yeah, so this is called lights out. The lights went out. I I don't know anything about any of these games. I feel like I should be putting an epilepsy warning. That's us? That better be us. My name is Oliver. It's not easy to tell this story. I worked nights at a gas station, and every day I took the same route with my car. A 
But that night, I discovered what hell is. What'd you do? Hit someone? And, that, and that's how the lights went out. Stopped on the road to take a piss. I was already late for work. I needed to keep driving. Is the moon? Um. <laughs> Walk around the car, please. Walk around the car. How do I <laughs> explain what I do? It won't enter. Nothing's happening. E. Press E. Like some very wide road. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was always tired. I feel like I feel that I've been there. I've done that. Oh, I hate driving with a keyboard and video games. I should have taken my car to the mechanic. It had been showing defects for a long time. What does that mean? Like your lights just keep going out or something? Like what kind of defects? But I wasn't used to solving my problems so quickly, I was settled and following a routine. Is that my car? Or is it somebody like trying to pass me? <laughs> okay. Can we get out of the fucking road? I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. This road is long and inhospitable. Inhospitable. <clears throat> Big word. That's a five dollar word you can buy from Walmart. I. Oh, I can actually. What the hell am I doing? Am I pushing the car? can't see anything. It's just dark. It's just pure darkness. Am I walking? It sounds like we're walking on wood. Is this what we're doing right now? Why does it look like there's somebody in the smoke rising from the car? It's like a person. The lights went out. What am I doing right now? There's no explanation. Do I? I know anything off to the side of the road? How about this side of the road? I don't know. Everything is dark. I can't see anything. It's just the moon. There. That's, that's a pretty view. How do I? Oh. Hello. <clears throat> Let me break my game just a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. <laughs> this is great. We're having a great time, guys. And I remember there was a house near here. I see it every day. Do we? I don't see anything. 
I'm blind. I can't see shit. My lights. They're bright. I mean, to be fair, they have to be bright if I want my green screen. My green screen. My green screen. They gotta be bright if I want my green screen to work. My brain can't pop in right from right now. Just run. I don't see a house anywhere. Where do you see a house? I was feeling a strange sensation. Something didn't seem Now something doesn't seem right. Is that right? Where's the house? You said there was a house. Where's the house, my dude? Oliver. Oliver? Where's the house? After walking a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. It looked like a normal house, but I didn't see any. It's like a nice house. Uh, got a oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, if I walk upstairs, I can't just step up. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. I decided to go around behind the highway. Because it looks like a nice house. I mean, these people aren't creepy, dude. But it's still so dark. Why don't we have like a flasher or something? It was an open door. <laughs> I decided to go in. I really need to show. Nope. I thought this was a body. Oh my god, it's so dark. I thought that was a body. That's a lot of why. These people dead? There's a lot of flies here. I think these people are dead. Come on, we... The house straight had a strange energy and a smell. A horrible smell. I'm positive these these guys are dead, Oliver. I'm assuming it's like an old person that lived here and they just... They died. Nobody had come check up on them. They died. Honestly, I love the idea of having the washer and dryer in the bathroom. But where's your shower? Oh, I guess this is the story. Maybe the main one is upstairs. Oh, you're trash. I don't like... I kind of like the sound of flies. The house really looked abandoned. I needed a phone to call for help. <laughs> They're flying in my ear! I didn't even end track. Don't acknowledge it. Don't acknowledge it. God, don't acknowledge it, and it's not happening. The smell was unbearable on the second floor. There seemed to be something wrong. I wonder what it could be, Oliver. I really wonder. Forget that scene. Dismembered bodies, lots of blood. I needed to run away from there. I don't know how to get out. Oh, 
fine. Fine. I ran down the stairs, but there was someone standing there, waiting for me. He wore black clothes and a sinister mask, so I ran back upstairs again. I was very scared. I couldn't think straight. I decided to hide in a closet. Suddenly, I started to hear some footsteps. I'm not here for that. I'm really fucking... It was motion. I could only see through a gap in the closet door. I can't see it. Hi. What the hell like this? Oh, he knows we're here. He knows we're here. I don't want to! Decided to come out of the closet. Not the time to tell the world you're gay. Needed to get away from there as quickly as possible. The garage door was closed. I was trapped inside the house. We're dead. The garage door opened, all I thought about was running away. I got stuck on the fucking... I ran towards my car, I was scared to death, it felt like someone- YES! SOMEONE IS WATCHING YOU! SOMEONE IS! Don't look back, don't be an idiot. Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. He left me alive, but my life changed forever. I'm so sorry, Oliver. He cut my face. He said, I'm giving meaning to your life. I love seeing the landscapes. I love seeing the sunlight reflecting on the plants. Now I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows. But I can't give myself up. So I said to myself, So I said to myself, So I said to myself, Oh, I'm sorry, Oliver. The mask on.
Carl Casey. Okay, yeah, this is who I was thinking. I freaking love Carl Casey. Uh, but yeah, that being said, that was that was fantastic. Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> I'm still so terrified. It was very, it was very concerning. All right, we're gonna go to our last, our last one, and this one is called Therapy with Doctor Albert Kruger. God, my, my heart hurts. I hurt. Oh my God, I hurt. Uh, where did? Are you opening? It's thinking real hard. <laughs> okay, hold on. Go through and make sure you guys can actually see everything. That's not what I wanted to press. Cool. All right, so this is this is a therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. I'm positive I want to speak Eng English. English? English. That looks like Michael Myers. Running as required by D2 law, it must be informed that this therapy may contain. I didn't finish reading anything. I have no idea if this is actually a horror game, per se. Um. But, like, it just had a really cool looking art style, so I was here for it. Oh, uh, harmless. Okay, let's pop right into it. L-E-E, -E, Taylor Lee. Dr. Kruger is waiting for you at room 1050. Huh? Wait a second. Where, where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in G2 district, delivering more than 1 million patient visits each year. My headphones are a little loud, I can't hear anything else, hold on. I am Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. Wait, dream therapy? What? I'm not sick! And what the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like such a scam. I have to agree, that does sound like a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I am a professional and I have a PhD in marine biology. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a PhD in marine biology. Do I look like... <laughs> Do I look like a dolphin to you? Before we start our session, I'd like to go over basic your basic information. What is your name, my child? Hmm, I'm not sure anything. Thanks for asking. Taylor Lee. H? 19. Pronouns. They, them. Good for you. What brings you here today, and what are your symptoms? I don't think I was... I, I think I was probably here against my will. I said I am not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? Do you enjoy math, Taylor? Hell no. Not particularly. Hey, then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer. From the four cards I provide you, does that sound good? Hey. Whatever. Let's get started. You look evil like this. Four minus three is one. Magnificent. Two minus two is zero. I can't believe it. Nicely done. I can do basic math. One times three is three. Excellent job. Four plus seven is eleven. Press the end. Press the end. Don't, don't come at me for pronunciation. 9 minus 3 is 6. I'm, I'm going to try again. 9 minus 9 is 0. Excellent job. 6 divided by 1 is still 
<laughs> Impressive. Six plus two is eight. Nine minus six is three. I must have clicked on the wrong one. That would have been embarrassing. Oops, my apologies. What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. Are you murdering people of math? I you're right. That most definitely was. I didn't even see it. No, it wasn't. No, Taylor. I missed ticket. Focus on your question first. Three times three is nine. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. Must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Why don't we take a little short break? Um, sure. Let me, let me turn up the music. Much better. So how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything alright? Eh, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah. Sweet. Are you from G2? Yes. Been living here my whole life. What about you? Are you from around here as well? Yes. I was born in G2. However, I did not attend college here. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh. RMU? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. What is happening here? I don't know what's going on anymore. Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. For this section, we're gonna play a game. A very classic one. It is called the Shell Game. I need- what is that? Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? No, not really. It's more commonly known as Pups and Balls. But the one where you- yeah, <laughs> that was very. That was a very descriptive. Oh, that. I suck at that game. Me too. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Whatever you say. I can't really argue with you over my dream therapy. Love the enthusiasm. As you can see, I have three cups over here, and in one of them, I will be placing a. Hmm. Pardon me, but it seems that we don't have any balls here. Let me go get one. the hell is going on? I have to agree, what is going on? I love the color scheme of all this stuff, which is really pretty. What the fuck was that? Excuse you, hello, Verge. Why did the painting change? Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell ha happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. The scream. A waste of my time. You're, you're definitely right. Guys. Shall we proceed with the therapy? I don't think I want to. I thought the ball was ahead for a second. As you can see, I have three cups over here. It's a fucking eyeball! And in one of them, I'll be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not. I mean, that's what the stream was. The ball was an eyeball. It's a fucking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball, it is a spear. You know, that's not what I meant. Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Why would you use that for cups and balls? <laughs> this is messed up! Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Jesus fucking Christ. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster I finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Anyways, I will be shifting those three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think as the ball. Is that clear? Yep. You know how the game works. Perfect, here we go. That one. That one. My brain doesn't want to work. That one. Uh... 
by all of this. Like, this is all very unsettling. about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Okay, that's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger. I skipped on accident. Kind of curious. What does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from D4? To take over your family's business? Yes. This is part of my destiny. I don't like it when people talk about their destiny. Gee, damn. I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from, from the CEO himself. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. And not to mention, I enjoy talking very much. I'm glad. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better, or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. Is this the Yandere game? The gateway to my heart? Yes. Yeah. I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. From the heart. What kind of questions? All kinds. Questions that are about you. Oh shit. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. Why is it not an option? The same theory, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm, well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. Hmm, that's simple. How do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapy. It is an essential it is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Fine, whatever. Excellent. However, I do have one request. You'll have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? I don't want to. Like this? Yes. Perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up in your family? Hmm. Nothing extra or extra ordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunity. I had two siblings, and we used to live all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is, I was the only child. I see. Did I open my eyes? No, trust him. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in school, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. 
and my family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Oh, I can actually... Huh. It's kind of cool. I didn't realize you could do that. No, oh, how do I return? You know, the very obvious button that says return? Beep. 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 Connected to all my... Yo, Mino, are we killing cats? Yes, that's very funny. The hell are all those... Are we killing cats? Hold on. Hold on. I feel connected. Of course, I feel deeply connected to all my patients. Tell me. Don't open your eyes, I don't want to know. Next question. <clears throat> you could leave the magic wand, what possible changes would you make happen in your life? That's a tough one. Uh, there's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels- Yeah, something feels off. And what is this weird car sound? No, don't open them. Don't open them. We'll, we'll go the entire way through without opening them. Last question. Do you ever have the urge to murder so- Am I gonna be murdered? Or maybe dismember them. Chop them into pieces. <clears throat> Make them into- Are you a cannibal? Like, of course not. This messed up. Have you- You? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. That- I'm feeling really- me too. Don't open your eyes. Don't do it. Let him murder you, it's fine. Free cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eyes. Shall we take a note? Yes, please. That. Uh, my apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos? Um, Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. Of course I will. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. We'll be right back. It's something many of us deal with on a daily basis, yet something few seem to have mastery over. That's why we're working hard at Kruger, developing life-changing treatments and revolutionary dream this therapy. This how therapy normally is, guys. Our patients to tackle their stress in ways the world has not seen before. This is concerning. And also, so dream therapy is this for? happening in my head? In today's increasingly difficult market, what better thing to invest in than yourself? <laughs> Hello, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact, it is a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes, resolved peacefully. Good. Are we ready for the next round? I, I think I'm done with therapy. I think I'm done. How long is therapy? How long is this? How long is therapy? 
the Rorschach shark test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask you what you see? That is correct. It is a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorders and examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of plots and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah. Crystal. Alright, here we go. Rug. I see a tree, and none of those are options. I literally can't unsee anything. I'm gonna say a bear. Dismemberment, corpse, psycho, butchery. the end of our therapy. Do I have to pay for this? I really enjoy speaking to you. And I really appreciate that you chose Ruger Corporate. I didn't choose this. I actually didn't, but no worries. It was also a very interesting session for me. Glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot. May I ask what your fa was your favorite section of the therapy? Favorites? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You could kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. Um, it was. My therapist was great! I totally would recommend all of this. Before I let you go, can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you sacrifice yourself to the deep food dish? Will I what? We need you for building a better future of g We need you to feed the hungry people of the g District. G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. They will be grateful to you forever. Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. Just the... Uh... There's three endings to this? How do you get- hold on, what are the other two endings? We got the bad end, what's the other two endings? I thought this was like a yandere situation. Good to see that you're doing fine. As you can see, I'm very fucked. 
What a waste. They didn't even finish my inside. But it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. The thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find a certain type of people. So maybe get all the questions right. Be as obedient as possible. Don't question him. Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as I do. Why don't you go ahead and find out? I don't think we're going to do that. I want to... I just want to look to see what the other two are. Because we got the bad, bad ending, apparently. you're looking to see what the other endings were um i'm not going to spoil the endings for you so if you want to see the other two endings i'll link the game link down below so you can try it out for yourself i do really enjoy this i really enjoyed this i love the art style of it all it was great i think that i loved every single game we played today the second one really scared me <laughs> and this one was a lot it was a lot more lighthearted, but it was still really nice so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you liked it, please let me know in the comments down below. If you got any game suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments and or the Google form link down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.